Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. If you guys are wondering that should I take my Versa in a swimming pool or not, well I'm gonna clear your dilemma right now with this Fitbit Versa water test. I did not find an actual water test for Versa on YouTube, so here I am doing my personal water test on Fitbit Versa. If you guys are new to our channel, consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and make sure you check out our Fitbit Versa playlist uh, for previous videos and I am sure you will learn a lot about your Versa or if you are planning to get one, you will know your tracker ahead of time. So let's get started. I have been using my Fitbit Versa fitness tracker for almost a year and I wear the watch 24-7. It only comes off to, uh, for charging, that means I use it during my workout, in the shower, in the bathtub. I have even used the watch on the lake for a short swim and once or twice for swimming in the pool. Uh, just so you guys know, I don't dive or do regular swims, but if you are someone like me, as I described above, your Versa will work and survive. On Fitbit's website, uh, I say uh, it says, quote, swim proof and track swims water resistance to 50 meter for wear in the pool or rain, uh, tracks lap duration and calories burned during the swim workout. So 50 meter is about 164 uh, feet. Uh, to be on safe side, I would not recommend going below 5 meters, uh, which we don't do anyways unless diving. For regular swimming, we don't um, go under 5 meters anyways. Uh, so let's get started with the actual test. Uh, I will give you a quick uh, brief intro to the test before starting. I hope my watch survives this personal test of mine. Uh, in this test, I'll be immersing uh, my watch for 15 minutes in a regular bath mug uh, with regular temperature water. It will be a real-time test and I will be using a stopwatch um, for the same. I will, keep, uh, I will keep the time for 15 minutes because 15 minutes is ideal time for regular day-to-day -day tasks like uh, uh, bathing, shower, doing dishes, uh, walking in the rain or gardening. So if the watch survives, um, then you can use it for all those tasks. Uh, now I did some research and found out the ISO testing procedure are rigorous but it does not involve someone diving 50 meters below the surface and then checking the time. Instead, it's a, it's a pressure test in laboratory uh, that's comparable to static water pressure uh, coupled with uh, immersing in 10 centimeter of water uh, for uh, about an hour. So we have just about that much of water. The official uh, measurement is atmosphere, which is equal to uh, 10 meter of static water pressure. Uh, keep in mind that watches often come in contact uh, with water pressure that is anything but static uh, wave breaking on you at the beach a garden hose being sprayed right onto you jumping off a hive dive into the pool all of these things causes a large amount of water pressure to come in contact with your watch um, if only for a split second so um, let's start the test so uh, here you go the watch goes into the bath mug filled with water regular temperature and the time starts uh, now it still survives to make the video short i will pause and come back in 15 minutes but the timer will be still on uh, which will be apparent at the end uh, so i'll see you guys after 15 minutes it's been about uh, last four minutes left and the watch is still working uh, the timer is still counting down so i'm gonna come back again at the end and show you guys if it survived for 15 minutes and i'm gonna take it out and show you how it works okay so we are approaching at the end uh, and the watch is still working uh, 38 seconds more to go and it's still working i can see the countdown timer i hope you guys can see it uh, yeah, 25 seconds more to go, 23, and it's still working. 
uh, it's working flawlessly I hope it still vibrates in there uh, once it's done I'm gonna take it out and show you guys that the watch is still uh, functioning as it's supposed to be uh, I hope it works after this uh, last seven seconds to go four three two one and it's vibrating uh, yeah I'll just uh, hit off from here okay and it's the timer is up we did it for 15 minutes I'm gonna take the watch out of it all right we move this and use some tissue papers down here okay and we are gonna see if it's working perfectly yeah it's still working all right everything is just as functional it was let me see if I can still open up the apps uh, and yes this working let me see if I can play my favorite game over here which is the flappy I have done a video about this game and I'm gonna link this game at the end of the video yeah and it's working perfect it's just the screen is too bright that you guys can't see it but it's working perfect so that's pretty much it uh, everything is working just fine I was skeptical that it might turn off but it's working perfectly so this is uh, water resistance 50 meters don't take it uh, for diving uh, you can use it for your regular swim uh, and regular shower or bathing so I hope you guys found this video helpful uh, please drop a like and comment down below if you have any questions or feedback make sure you subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching I will see you guys in the next video take care